Granular materials are made up of many small solid particles, yet flow, like a liquid, or freeze like a block of ice. A collection of grains, all acting together, create new characteristics, as if they are not individual bits and pieces, but entirely new materials. Remember the rice? Many granular materials function in similar ways, so understanding the same properties that dictate the flow of Parmesan on pizza may help us guide the flow of coal in a hopper or even understand the powdered snow that can prime avalanches. Powdered snow is like, is a granular material. Actually, most of the time when it's on a hillside, um, wet snow on top of it will keep it from, keep it in place. And uh, under the right conditions, like you get a loud noise or loud resonant noise or something like that, uh, the powdered snow begins to become, act like a fluid, and the snow, you get an avalanche. Scientists and engineers hope to learn not only how granular material systems work, but if they can be used as models for processes, like the flowing or freezing of water molecules that occur at the scale of nanometers, billionths of a meter. There's a fundamental aspect of this where you learn something about the way states of matter transform from one state to another, and whether in fact it's deeper, whether what works for atoms and molecules actually works for grains and bigger things as well. If we are going to understand the mystery of granular materials, we must watch how the grains sift, how they mix, and figure out why those pesky grains are so prone to jamming. One key appears to be how the grains strike each other when force is applied to them. The bolts of strain seen here, called force chains, reflect bands of stress that carry a push of force from the point of contact with the outermost grains inwards from grain to grain until the force dissipates. Force chains are just special lines of particles in a granular material. It's where much of the force is carried in a granular sample. And it's, in fact, because there's so much of the force carried on the force chains that it's really important to study them. If scientists and engineers can figure out exactly how and why such forces travel through beds of grains, they can gain true insight into fundamental physical processes with far-reaching impacts. So what one expects in things particularly like avalanches or even earthquakes where you have a lot of shear in the system, those should be dominated by force chains so that when you understand the way force chains be behave in a well-controlled lab system, there are immediate applications to all sorts of flowing systems, avalanches, flows and hoppers, earthquakes, etc. If you understand the conditions under which something can transform from being um, a jammed solid-like thing that doesn't move, to one that flows freely, then you can control industrial processes and so forth. Once scientists crack the granular code, it could lead to direct impacts on the energy, pharmaceutical, and agricultural industries, help us better prepare for natural disasters, and perhaps even reveal the most fundamental nature of how liquids freeze.